All right, YouTube. Hello, thank you for watching. Today I'm checking out a 2500 turn flyback that I got from Information Unlimited. So I got the temperature meter on the heat sink here. There is four Jan TX2N5672s. The on time of them is a half a microsecond, the storage time is one and a half microseconds, and the fall time is a half a microsecond. 12 turns on the primary center tapped and 4 turns center tapped on the base drive windings. There's a 100 ohm 10 watt here and this down here should be a 10 ohm for the base drive. So there's 12 volts on the power supply and we're drawing looks like about 3 amps. So it's drawn 12 and a half amps. You see where the temperature is at already. That's just from roughly a minute there of arc on the secondary. These transistors get very hot, but you know the strange thing is they don't blow providing I can keep them cool. This is just a prototype heat sink here that I just made out of a piece of scrap of aluminum so it's not made to to dissipate that kind of heat at all. So we're up to 42 degrees C in climbing I got little hydrocarbons flying around here. The tape caught on fire. Definitely hot, no question about that. I let it cool down here for a little while and then we'll run it at 15 volts and see how it acts. The collector to base breakdown voltage on these transistors is 150. The collector emitter breakdown voltage is 120. And I think I said this at the beginning, this is a 2500 turn flyback. I think currently it's gapped at about 12 thousandths of an inch, I think. Should put a fan on this just to run in here a little bit. So I probably wasn't very clear. But there's a 10 ohm that comes from the center tap of the base drive windings to ground here. And then there's a 100 ohm which goes from the center tap of the base drive up to your VCC line, up to your battery line. And then the choke comes from the center tap of the primary, which is the six turns on each side, over to VCC here. I may have said this in another video, I'm not sure, but I have played with, with these bias resistors and I haven't found them to do really anything, meaning if you change this to 20 ohms or 24 or even if you change this the whole way down to like 7 or 8 ohms and take this 100 up to like 220, 270 from 100 ohms there, it doesn't really have any significant effect on the circuit that I've ever seen. I think this here is probably a 7.5 watt, but you know that's overkill. It, it doesn't need to be a 7.5 watt. This 10 watt doesn't need to be a 10 watt either. That's just kind of sort of what I had. All right, it cooled down there a little bit. Let's see what it does at 15 volts. Well, it draws about 7 amps. And about 16 amps maybe. She's pretty screaming hot. Let that cool down for a little bit and then I'll show you what you get on the collector of these transistors on the scope there. So I'm still at 15 volts on the power supply. There's the collector. 
My reference line up there on top is 146 volts. So you can see that the waveform is much more leaning towards a square wave than what I had on the MOSFETs. So there you can see the turnoff spike on the left. So you can see that that pulse is very narrow on the turnoff. Right there's one microsecond on those dotted lines as a reference. Kind of blow it up there a little bit. So kind of what I've seen here, comparing this circuit to the MOSFET circuit that I last put on, immediately what I notice is, I mean the obvious thing, the heat sink on this will melt down in pretty much a heartbeat compared to the MOSFETs. But as far as the switching goes, I can't say that there's an awful lot of difference in the amplitude of the voltage spikes on the collector between the MOSFET and these transistors. But I would definitely say the pulse width of that spike is higher on the MOSFETs than it is on these bipolar transistors. That's kind of what I'm getting at there. Just kind of something to chew on as to why that might be. As I said the last time, I'm not sure what I've, what I've proved and what I haven't proved here with these circuits. But thanks for watching my video. You take care and have a great day.